Welcome to the Inspire Weight Loss Davy Podcast. Drug-free, sustainable, life-changing weight loss. Here's your host, Martha Savloff. Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to another episode of the Inspire Weight Loss Davy Podcast. I'm your co-host, Jeremy Wolf, and I'm joined, of course, by your host, Martha Savloff. Martha, good to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. So I know I've seen you've been very, very active in the social media sphere, and I see you guys are, are growing nicely. I know you're, I just saw a post that you're looking for help, uh, you got a little help wanted sign over there. So you're, I wanted to let everybody know that's listening out there. If you're looking for uh, gainful employment, please reach out to uh, Martha Inspire Weight Loss because they are growing rapidly for sure. Yep, we are. And i um, very grateful for that. And we're going into the holiday season. And yes. so, yeah, what we do in that go, goes hand in hand. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So with that in mind, as the holidays approach, obviously everybody is going to be doing some uh, serious, I guess, eating consumption and probably not the most healthy of things. But I know you had mentioned you wanted to talk a little bit about uh, metabolism and how aging affects that. But before we start, for those that don't know, metabolism as defined by Wikipedia is the set of life-sustaining chemical reactions in organisms. So yeah. you're gonna talk a little bit about how aging affects metabolism. So please yeah. share with us. We call it the M word in M -word. weight loss <laughs> because I mean, metabolism, the word of metabolism you know, it's thrown around so much. And when we see clients, they come in and like the first thing they say is like, I think my metabolism is so slow. <laughs> and you know what? There's some truth to that. And so um, many, many people don't know that there's four different stages of the metabolic age. So there's metabolism, then there's metabolic age. So let me just kind of define that real quick. So before getting into the four stages, because most people don't know that. And that that is one of the metrics that we drill down to when you come to Inspire. As soon as you come in, we look at your metabolic age. And then when you're done with the program, we look at it again and we make sure that you're burning to your natural age. OK, so I have a story around that that I'll share after the four stages. But so first and foremost, metabolic age, it's really the calories your body is capable of burning while at rest. And it also compares to um, people in your age group as well. So that's metabolic age. So I'm 48 years old. My metabolic age should be at the stage of a 48 year old. Right. But we, what we find is that that's not always the case. When I was 42 years old, my metabolic age was 86 years old. Really? Really. And I was, you know, that's not good, right? Because I'm supposed to be at 42. Now, before I go further in that story, I want to share the four stages of the metabolic age. So are you ready to get into it? I'm ready. But may, may I just say, when you say you're 48, mm -hmm. I'm just baffled by it because you look a lot younger. And I'm not just saying that. I know flattery will get me everywhere. But you you, you must be doing something right at this point yeah. if you're approaching 50. And you're you know, for, for those that are just listening here, um, you know, Martha is up doing some great work and has a lot to share with us. So please, let's get into it. Thank you for that. And I, I heard something this morning that was so cool. Um, it was um, an influencer in the health world. And he said, you know, God provided us everything that we need. And it's so true. And the reason why I, you know, I look younger. Uh, first of all, genes, my, my family, they all look younger than what they are. And uh, second of all, food, there's power in food and there's power in, in hydrating your body. So that all has to do with that. Anyways, moving forward, four stages of the metabolic age. And some people are going to say, aha, <laughs> because it's going to make sense. Number one, the youthful metabolic age. That's number one. And that's the ages between zero and 25 years old. Okay. 
So this is when your metabolism is prime. This is when you're in high school and you're eating Wendy's every day and you don't gain anything because you're just burning the heck out of that Wendy's. You know, you're proud of eating pizza every single day and nothing happens. That's the youthful metabolic age. But also, um, Jeremy, it's also when it's like the most efficiently burning food into energy. And that's why you can eat all that stuff. And then you're still like super energized and, you know, staying weight. But the most important part about this phase that I want people to hear is that this is a phase that you actually set the future of the of your your health so what does that mean you literally established how healthy your met your metabolic or your metabolism is going to be um for your future at this stage so the reason why it's important to know is because most of the time when you have little ones you have one-year-olds two-year-olds three-year-olds four-year-olds five-year-olds people people love to feed those the kids sugar and tons of like over processed foods and you know all these types of foods that we're trying not to even we're older <laughs> right yeah that's when they're eating the most of it but that's actually when they shouldn't be because you're setting how their body's going to function for their future it's that important so that's stage number one so what do you think about that, Jeremy? Did you know all that? <laughs> it makes it makes a lot of sense. Obviously, setting the speaking about any habits throughout life and setting the stage, it just becomes increasingly more difficult the older you get, the more set in your ways you are. So obviously, if you grow up eating unhealthy, to make a change from that is mm -hmm. going to be very, very difficult and time consuming to get yeah. healthy if it's not already too late. Because if you go too long <clears throat> without taking this into consideration, yeah. you know, you, you have serious health problems at that at that stage. So, for yeah. sure and you're setting the the eating habits right and the food relationship at, at one two years old guys like they don't have to be older than that like when they're tiny they're they're sponges right they absorb all this but you're also setting internally in their bodies how their body's going to function and response to food later on it's incredible you're making me feel guilty for taking my kids to Chick-fil-A last night after soccer practice because I, I didn't make dinner and I was in a rush. And I was like, oh, it's convenient. I'll just go there. It's somewhat healthy, not. <laughs> well, listen, everything in moderation, including moderation, but yeah, uh, that's not the case in our society. And that's it's that's why, you know, diabetes and obesity is huge in our children now because that's what we feed our kids and you know you go out and to have a time with family you know have a great time and it's always around foods that are normally not what we should be eating you know yeah, um yeah. so so that's number one number two it's the maintenance metabolic age and the maintenance metabolic age is between the ages of 25 to 50. okay so now you went from youthful to maintenance <laughs> Just the name alone tells you that. This is when it's like, man, when I was in 12th grade. Not, I can eat know, whatever I, was, I want and I wouldn't, I wouldn't get any weight. I wouldn't get, get any weight. But now, <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Now it's not like that. I'm not a size zero like I used to be, you know? So that's because you're transitioning into adulthood and your metabolic rate actually stabilizes. So you know how in, in number one, it's super efficient and it's burning, you know, food into energy and all this kind of stuff. Now it's like stabilizing. So yeah, it's stabilizing. But in this phase, you start feeling like subtle changes and gradual changes in your muscle mass. It's like, you know, I used to pump it up in high school and I used to be swole. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now I go to the gym. I was like, "What the heck? Like, it's not happening like it used to, right?" Don't remind, don't remind me, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have a tendency of accumulating fat. Yeah. So this is the maintenance type. So obviously, like a healthy lifestyle, you know, being super active, eating the right foods are is important, right? And doing things that that increase your metabolism you know which is which is food related and activity related right 
also the next stage will go to stage number three and here's an uh, interesting word it's the declining stage of your metabolic age oh no so you went from youthful to maintenance to now declining and it's like man okay for, for <laughs> females it's the peri post menopausal phase and you know for males ages 50 to 7 that's the age group for the declining metabolic age sorry 50, 50 to 50 to 70 50 to 70 yes okay. yeah. this yeah. is all about hormonal changes <laughs> continuing the decrease of muscle mass right um the the metabolism itself is like naturally slowing down um a lot of times in 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 these stages you know maybe somebody it started with a chronic disease, right? Uh, diabetes, maybe some thyroid issues, things like there's certain chronic diseases that causes the metabolism to slow down. Um, prescription drugs also does that. So there's certain prescription drugs that causes uh, the metabolism to slow down. And so this phase is definitely a not so fun phase, but there is ho hope because we can do something about all of this. And I'm going to talk about that later. Then we go to number four, the last phase, guys. And that's the senior metabolic phase. And that's age of 70 and up. And so in the this twilight, phase, the twilight years. Yeah. <laughs> in this phase, um, the metabolism keeps slowing down. And then also the muscle mass, right, starts declining, keeps or continues to decline. And so those are the four stages. Most people have no idea that that exists. And so when you have somebody come into our office and say, I feel like my metabolism is slow. Well, maybe it's because you're not at the stage that you're supposed to be. And I'm coming back to my story. And that's what happened to me. When I was 42 years old, I was an 86 year old metabolic rate age, which I was in the senior <laughs> stage and uh, it's like wow and so again there's hope there's things that we can do to to help that so those are the four stages jeremy what do you think so far i just think the human condition is so fascinating so many people out there take better care of material things their stuff mm -hmm. than they do of their own body and yeah. everything you're saying about you know, condition, the muscle mass decline and aging, right? It's just so important yeah. to exercise, eat right, take care of yourself because before mm -hmm. you know it, you get older and you are in that place where, you know, you, you, you find it hard to get around, you become immobile and you could have done so much. And with hindsight, obviously <laughs> you're looking back and you're thinking, wow, and I should have taken better care of myself. Well, and that's the thing that usually people start doing that when something happens. Yeah. That you have no choice. And now after hearing this, you understand that we actually should be doing that at the very first stage because you're setting the stage <laughs> for the rest of your life or the rest of your child's life. I have and a question. So I have a question for you. Sorry to cut you off. Uh, the... <clears throat> I've always said this, and I want to know if this is a, a silly thing to say. It sounds like it probably is. I've always been blessed with, I always say this when I'm talking to people, I have a fast metabolism because I can pretty much eat whatever I want mm -hmm. and I don't balloon up and I, I don't gain a lot of weight. I mean, to some degree, is that an accurate thing to just say to somebody that, oh, I, I must have a fast metabolism. I just say that because it sounds like I do. <laughs> Is that yeah. accurate? We actually do see that here. Um, it's, it has to do also with like your your physique type, like the your, the body type that you have. There's different there's different types body types, right? And we can talk about that in, in a different episode. But there's several different body types, and there's certain ones that um, are like your body type, Jeremy. That it can be where their metabolic age is actually more youthful than their natural age. And we see that here too. We have clients that come for only body contouring, not weight loss. And when we run their metabolic age, 
you know, they're like a 15 year old and they're like 30 years old. And we're like, man, we're jealous. <laughs> like what the heck? But um, so yeah, that can totally happen. So what, what, what can I say, Martha? I'm just a prime specimen of a human being. I mean, <laughs> what else is there to say, right? <laughs> I love on, that. On, on that note, <laughs> we'll, we'll end there. Um, always a pleasure, very informative, uh, very educational. So thank you for sharing. Learned a lot today. Yeah. So Jeremy, just one last thing. Guys that are listening out there, if you want to know what your metabolic age is, come to Inspire. That's the first thing we take a look at because I was 40, I was 86 and now I'm 48 and my metabolic age is 48. So there's something that we can do about it. Perfect. All right. Sounds good. And thanks everyone for tuning in and we will catch you on the next episode. Everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to the Inspire Weight Loss Davy podcast. To get your journey started, visit inspireweightloss.com or contact 954-837-8811.